Good afternoon. It is a beautiful day in British Columbia. It's a little bit gray in the Kootenays, but it's not too bad. Today, I'll be taking out this brand new WK180. Uh, last video, I disassembled it, cleaned it. I lubed it up the other night and I put uh, blue Loctite on the gas block. I am sort of expecting it to explode, but I guess we'll find out. Uh, I put an older scope on it. Uh, this is a Scorpion Optics 1-6, to the illuminated reticle. The scope rings are quite low. I have to get my cheek quite low, which I'm not a huge fan of, but uh, hoping to get new ones. And uh, yeah, see how it goes today. We got a white-tailed deer about 50 yards away, just hanging out. <laughs> And they're off. Here we are into a little clearing. We're gonna hike up the hillside and see if we can get somewhere flat to shoot. A lot of deer activity out here. It's pretty fresh. This guy, probably from a good day or two. Not too bad. We are still climbing. Started to rain a little bit. But I think it sort of stopped. Some gray clouds. The big ball of fire still out, so we'll see. Walk through a thorn bush and scratch up my chin. That's cool and super annoying. But of all things, it's really not too bad. Up a little bit higher now. Still climbing the mountain. This trail doesn't go anywhere. Looks like this was just a clear cut area. Where I've learned about forest service roads in BC is that sometimes a forest service road is just a forest service road. There's a little bit of a game trail going up and to the right. And take the right way and hopefully get to a open spot so we can sight the scope in. All right, I guess might've been a mistake. It gets pretty thick, so I can see through the trees up there, but not really. So we are just clambering right over. But when the sun was out, a little bit ago, got another uh, hour and a half solid daylight. And so it's getting dark. Somewhat weird. One guy growing on the tree. It's pretty nuts. All right, clamber through the bush, go to the top of the road. This will sort of loop back around way above my house. My neighbor gets a lot of firewood out here. Just going up the water line trail. Had a few windstorms lately. Knocked down some trees. Now the power go out back in December for a good almost day or so. But super nice out here. No one's been out here. This is their private land. It's nice to just head out. And here's our shooting spot. I am unfortunately out of breath. A lot more than I was expecting to. 
And the rest of the road just goes zigzag up the mountain. So I know no one else is going to be up there because, well, my neighbors are home and that's it. And there's the beautiful mountain I look at every day. So I got a few targets. I'm going to set up against the hillside, set in the rifle, and uh, have some fun. Oh, I got a cross mag gen 2 these guys are cool because these guys just snap together a lot of people have failure to feeds with these um i guess we'll find out this is a metal duramag five rounds these are all legal canadian limits this guy's pinned to five these guys are pinned to 10 because they are made for uh pistols and they fit together and then we can have 20 even though they are separate magazines um that guy and then i got one that came with the rifle i don't think it's the factory one i think the factory one's plastic i could be wrong um still an illegal meg this one is uh colt again pin to five so i guess we'll find out which one works the best um yeah have some fun we got four o'clock yeah i got about an hour and a half hour 45 do we realistically want to head back it's dark just around six and it's gonna be a good hike down the mountain so let's have some fun all right we got target at 25 yards i got another one at 35 and zeroed in where we uh Unleash all the hell in the middle of the forest. I'm just kidding. Let's see if that's gonna work. Got the cross mags. Not super stable, but. That's not bad. That's not bad. It's not great either. Yeah. Goodness. That is just so low. That's all the way out. Yep. Yeah. Even coming in a little bit. Marginally better. Right. Right. 
that's it. That's it. Good boy. I'm safe. I feel up in the chamber. Ah, so we got on paper. We're in the middle. And we're going to go for the targets up there. Uh, we're going to gonna shoot from here first. I'm going to stand back and go for that 35 yards, which isn't really far, but I won't be shooting too far with this gun. This is, this is just a, uh, just for shoots gun. Oh, that is just so low. That is just not fun. <laughs> I gotta crane my neck down. sound of it. Well, a lot of fun sticks. Had to change out the paper, but we're good there. Let's go take a look up on the hill. Not bad. That was a crapshoot. So, a little over the place, but a little low there, a little high there. No standing position, but I'm pretty happy with that. That's good enough for today. That is good enough. What a beautiful day out here. It's starting to rain, so I'm going to pack up and head her back home before it gets too dark. So, I got to say... I was going to be I was expecting to be underwhelmed with the rifle, but it's actually tons of fun. Uh, as far as the recoil, you can feel that bolt slamming back on you. So I'm looking forward to getting that uh, adjustable gas valve, but it is a blast. Um, zero issues with it. Like no failure to feed, nothing with the magazines. Um, my scope rings are way too low, so that was just uncomfortable. It's not too bad to hold. Looks like I've scuffed off the handguard a little bit. That's great, but I can just spray paint that. Um, it's comfortable. Yeah, it's it, it's a fun gun. Zero issues. I oiled the um, bolt carrier group because I said to liberally apply it as per the manual, so I did. And uh, nothing. It's just fun. I'm almost waiting for the gas piston to just snap one of these days. Um, <laughs> so, but yeah. Impressed for now. I'm sure I'll be pissed later on once uh, shit breaks, but yeah, it's a fun gun. A beautiful view up here though. Gotta say, I absolutely love living out here. It's just beautiful. And here we are. We're gonna climb right down the mountain. Gotta say, for carrying this for a while, it's not horrible. I would definitely get a sling. None of the handguard screws backed out. Pretty happy about that. Um, not bad. I am, uh, it exceeded my expectations for what it is. So, oh, we got some forest berries too. Awesome. Oh, we got some old bear poop. All right, from the fall, they ate these uh, mountain ash berries and uh, just crap them right out and leave big splotches. 
on the trail. No other animal signs except uh, some deer. Nothing else, it's a little bit too early for bears to be coming out. Should hope so anyway, but I guess we'll see. We had a pretty warm, mild winter out here in the Kootenays. I uh, didn't get much snow. This is at the end of February and we got no snow. It's nuts, even when you look up on the mountains, you know, it's, uh, it's not a lot. It's a little bit concerning for summer, obviously, for the wildfires, but and just coming down the hill. You know, it looks like there was an old well here. Got some concrete. And that guy is full. Yeah. Crazy. That's cool to find out. Just getting home now. I'm going to trek down the mountain, but not too bad. It's getting muddy. A little bit of rain yesterday. But otherwise, uh, not bad today. Last to shoot this thing, I will say. Um, I wouldn't really recommend it though. I mean, with all the issues people have, some people get lemons, some people go through a thousand rounds, no issues at all. For the price, it's fun. For a 223 semi auto in Canada, like I said, I paid 970. Um, I see on gun posts guys are selling for about 850. Brand new, I think they go for just over a grand. Um, keep in mind, there's a few things you should upgrade. Oh, look at that. I was playing with them. That's a little too loose. Jeez. <laughs> I shouldn't be able to take that off my fingers. Huh. See, it, it's little things like that that I wouldn't recommend for a beginner. If you know what you're doing and you know the issues, totally. You know, uh, the Gen 2 uh, is better. Uh, weighs less. The ergonomics are a little bit nicer. But uh, you, you get what you get. There are better options in Canada. Things like the Raven 556, which is as close to an AR-15 as you can get, which is gas operated, sorry, direct impingement versus a short stroke with this guy. Uh, there are the other Sterling MK-18, which I've seen no issues with. Uh, those run for about 2,600. The Siberian, BCL Siberian SVR2, SRV2, one of the two. Um, they had an issue with the firing pin, which uh, was replaced under warranty pretty quickly for a lot of owners. It does seem like a beefy gun. Um, the handguard is proprietary, which I'm not too much of a fan of. Um, the nice thing with most of the AR-180 platforms in Canada is that plat uh, parts are pretty easy to get for because we don't really have AR-15s, but a lot of these take AR-15 parts, uh, trigger, handguard, uh, buffer tube stock, um, yeah, so safety selector, you know, things like that. So it's not too bad. That's one of the things you got to think about too, is once you buy one of these rifles, can you actually get parts for it? So once it breaks, can you get parts for it? Um, I find uh, the WK-180 came out a few years ago and parts are still super easy to come by. In the worst case scenario, you could always buy a donor rifle and uh, change parts that way, but... But otherwise, I am impressed by it for what it is, you know. Um, for the price, for the issues that I may have in the future, it was a fun to shoot. It like it, it, it was a blast to shoot. Um, the one six LVPO isn't really my thing on this guy. I think having the rings so low um, honestly didn't really help. Um, I would definitely go for a red dot and a magnifier, potentially. Having those rings too low was just not fun. Uh, this came off my uh, BCL MRX Bison, uh, which I usually shoot prone with, but this guy, it's just way too low. It's just not fun. So if I want to get upgraded rings or at least get a riser for it. And that's about it for this guy. I'll be taking this part and cleaning it, taking a look at the gas block screw and cleaning it once over but no failure to feed no failure to eject not bad just wish it wasn't so god dang heavy you know i said that wasn't too bad when i was up on the mountain but carrying down the mountain yeah this sucks but just gotta get a swing perfect well thanks for watching